For those who can't stand heights, let's settle your stomachs with a visit to a place where they seem to make it their speciality. Here, the latest advances in dehydrated foods, for example, are prepared and analyzed to such a fine degree that one wonders what these food boffins will have in store for us next. Although as long as it's appetizing, we don't really mind. The location is the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food Experimental Kitchens, where we're watching just one aspect of research, the preparation of different foods in their various forms, from fresh to dehydrated, for the expert tasting panel. The principle of dehydration is not new, of course, dating back to a thousand years BC. But the recent advances, described as a major breakthrough in technique, are regarded as being as important in their way as the advent of jet propulsion in aviation. Ingenious and practical in every situation, it takes only the addition of cold water to provide freshly cooked food without loss of taste. Hence, the tasting panel. The use of the coloured filters, you'll have noticed, is to prevent the eye being influenced by natural colour appeal, although as smell, as well as sight and taste, plays its part in defining a flavour, the nose should really be blocked up too. Still, perhaps that's going a bit too far. Needless to say, work on a tasting panel has its drawbacks too. At the end of a day of colour influence, the toughest stomach can rebel.